Hello and uh, welcome to this session of mechanics. In this session, we will try to solve a problem of equilibrium of particles. If you will see this picture here, there are three circles actually representing three cylinders and these three cylinder or I would say three sphere, uh, whatever because it is not given in the question so let's I am considering that these are the three cylinders and these cylinders are placed in a closed uh, cavity or a channel and we have to find the reactions at all the contact points so please understand that there are three cylinder cylinder A, cylinder B or and cylinder C or you may say that the three spheres A, B and C uh, first cylinder is having a weight of 300 Newton and radius 0 0.4 meter. Second one is having radius 0 0.6 and 800 Newton and, as, and so on. Third is having 0 0.5 meter radius and 400 Newton uh, is the weight. Now, before you start the problem, you should understand that there are the, how many contact points are there. So, if I will start from the top cylinder, there are two contact point this is one contact point this is second contact point when I will see the second one there are one two and three contact point and when I will see the last one the last one is in contact with this wall also with this wall as well as with this that uh, this cylinder so please remember that in this kind of question what you need to do the first thing is that that the system is in static equilibrium that means if I am going to make the free body diagram of any of this body, the forces, summation of the forces will be zero. So my first job here is to make the free body diagram of individual cylinder. So let's start. Here I am showing the three cylinders. So you can compare that this is the cylinder C, this is cylinder B and this is cylinder A. So this is your cylinder let this is B cylinder, this is your C cylinder and this is your A cylinder. Now, if I will start to make the free body diagram of this cylinder, I know that there is a force acting on this cylinder because of this wall. So, that means that a force is acting on the cylinder because of the wall. So, the direction of the force will be towards the cylinder. Please understand that when we make the free body diagram, we consider the forces acting on the body, not the forces applied by, by the body. How we will understand that? Now, when I want to make the forces at this point, there is a mutual reaction between the two cylinder. So, whatever force is applied by C on B, equal and opposite force be applied by B on C. So, there will be a force acting toward the center of C not from the center of C because I am making the free body diagram of my cylinder C so there will be a force which is acting in this direction and if I will name this this is let's reaction R1 this is reaction R2 in addition to these two forces what what would be the third force third force will be the weight of the cylinder and that is acting in the downward direction so this is of 400 Newton. This is the free body diagram of my first cylinder. Now let's make the free body diagram of second cylinder. As I have already considered here that this is the R2 force because of B on C. So now equal and opposite force will act in this direction and the magnitude will same as R2. So this is my second force of magnitude R2. Now, there is a contact at this point. So, the contact point, the line of action of the force of the contact point is passing from the center. So, there will be one force which is also acting on the cylinder, not by the cylinder. Let's, this is my R3. In addition to these two forces, the third will be the weight. So, the weight will act in the downward direction. That is of 800 Newton. And the fourth force is action reaction between these two cylinders. So there will be a force acting from A to B and equal and opposite force is acting from B to A. So the direction of this force will be towards the center of B and let's say this is my R4. 
so equal and opposite r force will act here one force will act from this direction to towards the center of the so this is the reaction because of the wall let's say this is r5 and one force acting from the ground on the cylinder so this is the force acting because of the ground so let's say this is r6 now only the weight of the last cylinder left so this is the weight of the cylinder and the magnitude of this is 300 newton so please understand that this is very important step before you start solving any of the free body diagram what you need to do you first make all the free body diagrams so you have a clear cut picture and generally what happens is students forget reaction from this point they generally consider reaction here, here and the weight but they miss this reaction. Please consider whenever we make a free body diagram, what is the philosophy of making a free body diagram? When you make a free body diagram, actually what you do, you consider the body alone and all the contact points are replaced by equivalent forces. For example, in C, these are the two contact point. I have removed the contact point and I have considered equivalent force at this point. That means the system is still in the static equilibrium. But in addition, in instead of considering the complete system, we are taking part of the system and wherever we are having a contact, we are removing the contact by considering equivalent forces. Here I am having one, two and three contact points. So I have considered one, two and three forces. Here I am having one, two and three contact points. So one, two and three forces. Now we have made the free body diagrams. Once you have the free body diagram, you can see that this is a system of concurrent forces. Any of the free body diagram, there are three free body diagram. When and all the forces are passing from a single point, that means it is a case of concurrent forces. Or when you are having equilibrium of particle, definitely all the forces will pass from a single point because it is a case of particle. So now you have three free body diagram and you can write equation of equilibrium for each of the free body diagram and what is the equation of equilibrium the equation of equilibrium says you can consider the balance of horizontal forces will be zero balance of vertical forces will be zero and these are uh, these are valid for this cylinder then this cylinder and this cylinder so ultimately we are going to have six equation two from here two from here and two from here each as we are having six equation definitely we can solve maximum six unknown and here we are having one two three four five and six unknown so now without any delay let's start solving uh, this free body diagram so now if i will make the equation for my first case so this is my first case i am just uh, made another diagram here instead of putting r2 in this direction i have considering r2 away from this point and now what is important is this this is not vertical or horizontal definitely i have to find this angle and how can i can find this angle so for that again you have to go back and you have to check the geometry in this diagram this is the line of action of your force r2 this is the line of action but you don't know what is the angle of this line of action from the horizontal and how you can get this angle to get this angle you have to complete this triangle this is a right angle triangle if you see carefully you know that the total distance between point b and c is nothing but the sum of the radius of these two cylinders so that is 1.1 1 .1. and when i will see the base of this cylinder the base will be what the total distance is given as 1.8 i know that this is 0 0.5 i know that this is 0 0.6 so what remains here 1.8 minus sum of these two length which is 1.1 so i know that this length will become 0 0.7 so now i am having a triangle where i can get the angle so in this case, if I'll make first a triangle, my first triangle will be, if I'll make another one triangle here, this is my first triangle where this length is 1.1 and this length is 0.7. Similarly, if you want to find the, when we are having this R4, R4 also required one angle. And how I can get this angle? To get this angle, you have to first consider this triangle. So this triangle, in this triangle, this is 0 0.4, this is 0 0.6, that means whatever left, this, this length is 0 0.8. 
and the this length is what summation of the radius of the two cylinders so 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 for month that means now i have two triangles one triangle is of the this length 1.1 and this length 0 0.7 another triangle is this this is triangle between point b and c you can see here this is the b and c and the second triangle between point a and b so the second triangle between a and b says that this length is 1 and this length is 0 0.8 so now considering the trigonometry i can get this angle let's say this is theta 1 and this angle theta 2 so my theta 1 is coming out the theta 1 i can calculate by taking the cos inverse base by 0 0.7 by 1.1 and the theta 2 will be cos inverse 0 0.8 divided by 1 and the theta 1 is coming out this theta 1 is basically coming out 36.86 and the theta sorry this is theta 2 and the theta 1 is coming out 50.48 degree so what i have done if i'll go back and i'll just quickly give a recap that i have made the three free body diagrams so these are my three free body diagrams and then to solve the equation of equilibrium for each of the free body diagram i need angles so that i have calculated the angle by considering the geometry of the system and now let's start solving each equation of motion so here i am showing the first equation that this is my first equation uh, sorry this is my first free body diagram which ha which is having force r1 force r2 and no the weight for uh, this weight is 400 actually this is 300 so let's consider the 300 so now this these are the three forces and when i am going to solve this i know that so when i see this uh, equilibrium of point i am having force r1 force r2 and weight of the cylinder that is 300 earlier i have considered 400 but actually it is 300 so i have made correction so now i have three forces acting at a point so i can write the equation for horizontal force balance i can write equation for vertical force balance so this is my equation which is for the horizontal force balance so you can see, see here that r2 cos 50.48 which is which is which is acting towards the left direction it is going to be balanced by r1 so this is my equation 1 when i will write the equation for the vertical force balance i know that the r2 sin 50.48 and that is going to be balanced by 300 newton so when i will solve these two equation i am getting my r1 is coming out 247.47 and my r2 is coming out 388.9 so once i know the r1 and r2 value r2 value now i can move to my second free body diagram that is of the larger cylinder suppose you got confused that from which free body diagram you should start this question may come in your mind so you can so you can see here that when you will try to start from this cylinder there will be more than two unknowns and please keep it in mind that for for a particular free body diagram you can write only two equations one for the horizontal force one for the vertical force so you can get only max, uh, maximum two unknowns so please try to pick a free body diagram where you are having maximum two unknowns if you are not able to find a single diagram where you are having two unknown then definitely you have made something wrong and you have to go back and you have to cross check so in this case if i will try to start here i know that r5 r4 and r6 are the three unknown if i will try to start from here r4 r2 and r3 are the three unknown so i cannot start from these two free body diagram but when i will see the free body diagram of c here there are only two unknown so i can start from here and which i did so now i know the value of r1 and r2 now i will go and i'll make the free body diagram i'll try to solve the uh, free body diagram of second cylinder so here you can see there are force r4 acting in this direction r3 r3 is acting in this direction r2 which is equal and opposite of that and the value is known to me which i have already calculated as 388.9 and the fourth one is the weight here also if i will write the equation for the force balance of horizontal and vertical force so this is the equation so i know that this this angle this angle is already calculated in the previous step the angle of r2 
so this is again my 50.48 and if I'll see I know that if I'll increase this this angle is also calculated earlier that is 36.86 so when I will now make the equation here is my equation that r2 the this is your r2 cos means horizontal so r2 cos 50.48 r4 uh, cos 36.86 and r3 these three will be in the horizontal direction these two forces will act towards the right but r3 is acting towards the left so this is my first equation and the second equation for the vertical force balance which will be r2 sine r4 sine and 800 this is my second equation when I am solving these two equations I am getting R4 which is coming out 1833.74 and 1748 uh, 1714.66 I will request all the student please do not just see the equation it will be great if you will solve the problem by your hand because this is mechanics it's purely mathematical uh, subject so whenever you will do the practice you will understand the concept in more detail as well as you will have you will have speed so that when you will solve the problem in the exam you will be able to solve this equation because sometime what happens when you will see this equation you will get stuck that how to solve this equation so i will request all the student that please do practice now the third free body diagram and the third free body diagram will be of the lowest cylinder so here is the equation for the third free body diagram here I am showing that the force R5, force F, R6, R4 and 300. So here is the equation where I know that R4 is 1833.75. This is RC acting in the upward direction and R5. So here is the equation for the vertical. This angle is known to me. This is 36.86. So this is the equation for the vertical forces and this is the equation for the horizontal forces so this is the equation for summation of vertical forces and this is the equation summation of horizontal forces and when i am solving this i am getting two unknowns r5 and r6 which are 1467 and 1399 so in this way we have calculated all the reaction reaction at heat this point at this point at this point at this point as well as at this point and this point so in this way whenever you are having such problem first you have to make the free body diagram if angles are not given you have to find the angle first and then you can quickly start writing equation for each free body diagram and you can get the answers thank you